so the deal is you can rehearse it. I'm gonna say something like, Hey, it's Joseph here. Today I've got a special assistant who's gonna help me out. Hi, my name is Jenna. You're gonna have to speak louder than that. Hi, my name is Jenna. And you look at over there at the camera. Hi, my name is Jenna. Yeah. This is Yuna, my beautiful daughter, and we're gonna do something today. And do you have any idea what we're doing today? I have no idea what we're doing today. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pretend that you don't know. Don't tell them, don't tell them. Okay. Don't, don't, don't tell them. Okay, I won't tell them. Since she doesn't want to say what we're doing, <laughs> or since, since she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what we're doing today? Yes. Okay, good answer. So what is it? So it's this box that we're going to be unboxing because it is a box. <laughs> okay, so we got to get out of the box by doing unboxing, right? Yeah, yeah. Since you know, you kind of know what it is, why don't you bring me the box? All right, let's do it. You sure you can do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, got it. Okay, this is yay big box. <laughs> and we've got a box from, what is it called? Kamrui? Um, that's my best guess as well. So Cam Rui has sent me this box for me to test out. So let's go ahead and have a look what's on the box. And you're going to help me out describe, okay? So it says Cam Rui. And then anything else on the top? Let's no. See. So let's go around blank side. And then this side, what does it's it say? Mini PC. Mini PC. It's a PC that's mini. Oh. Oh, okay. Another blank side, side, not blank side, Back another mini PC. And here it has a couple of product information and it does say mini PC. Model number is CK10. And then what's the color? Gray. And then the RAM is 16 gigabytes and the ROM, I guess the disc or the storage is 512 gigabytes. So this is wrapped in a plastic. So we're gonna have to undo that. And would that involve a knife? Can you give me a knife? Yeah, let's go. Thank you. And then slowly, it's okay. And then gentle score all around. There you go. So now we got a little tip. And then we can peel it off. Why don't you do the opening this up? So hold it here and then lift Whee! gently. Make sure it's seen on the camera. Wee, we got Yay, it open. We got it open. It's, it's a, mini it's a handbook. PC. It's like manual. User manual. All right. I, oh, me. And then here is a PC. I guess that's what you're meant to do, right? Can you pull it out? Good. It's all you. You're doing it. Okay. Just pull it out. So. All right. So we got it. Let's look at that in detail after we go through the rest of the content. So. This is just an easy way, you know? Oh. Because all right, so here is the actual DC adapter. And then, and this is the bracket for mounting onto the monitor and here are some screws and then here is the HDMI cable and this is a SATA cable for you to attach additional storage if you would like to and then here is the power cable for the adapter and that is pretty much it other than a recyclable recyclable bubble thing my brother loves popping those things as to the PC itself, we've got a couple of preparation on top. I'm not exactly sure what this is because I thought this would be a power button, but in fact, we've got a power button up here. And at the bottom, again, it says Camry Mini PC model CK10, 16 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes. And it has a CPU of Intel Core i5 11320H. So it does have a laptop grade of CPU and that is an i5. And something of this grade I would say it is adequate for streaming PC living room PC and for us having kids to play on and it's got the contact us info there and onto the front again the power button and then there is a reset button and then audio jack and then two USB type A ports that are at least 3.0 and then one USB type C port and around the side strangely it's got VGA but I don't think I'm gonna be using that. On the back is the power jack, the DC 19 volt, which this would connect into. And then the LAN port, if that's something useful for you. And then two HDMI ports, full size. And then two additional USB type A ports that are at least 
3.0. So you've got plenty of things to connect to. And on the front, all the incidental connection would be suitable. Your peripherals as well, the HDMI ports, at least two monitors out, and even the third one through VGA. Although I don't think I'll be connecting that many onto this PC. Anything to add? No? Okay. Before we connect all of this, I wanted to disassemble this a little bit to kind of show you the inside because I was actually curious. So let's actually do that. Let's have a couple of screws open. Do you have any guess to what this might be? Maybe it's just for like decoration because in like some, it's like in some devices I see like they want to make one stand out out of the other. So just open up one corner and it is going to nicely open. That's all we have... it needed to take. So do you have any idea what we are looking at, Yuna? So we're probably looking at like all the bugs and... Bugs? I mean like the tech bugs, you know? Tech bugs? Yeah, yeah. What's a tech like bug? Like we're looking at, we're looking at the, like the brain of the computer and like all the things. Oh, and then we see these that are connected to this side here. Nice, yeah. So we see all the ports over here. The other cable that we saw earlier. Actually, can you bring it? I'll hold on to the screws. All right, we got this cable and I joined the server with the cable. Yep. So this is a SATA cable. So if you have any two and a half inch drive solid state, then you can actually attach it to this tray over here and then connect to there. And the other two ends will connect to these two spots down here so you can certainly have expandability with this specific piece and we are not going to use that so you can just put this back in the box please leaving the server and then you also have an option of installing one more mvme ssd over here so there is certainly a room for that but currently i've got one mvme ssd already connected here so that works as a storage cpu is probably underneath this plate over here and the power in the device so all of this has been exposed to you to maintain it later on however we're gonna close it back down and then put the screws on going back on yeah all right and we are gonna do the peel yeah. peel it peel 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 oh my goodness Just look at this pattern yeah it's from the case itself case whatsoever okay um. and a little bit of residue that's left you can do this to get rid of it it's a little tip all right, well, let's connect it up. Okay, we're back. All right, I've got the monitor up here. I, I can't hear And I need to, I do wanna show you how to attach the mini PC onto the back of the monitor. So you need to be careful about choosing the monitor that has a VESA mount on the back. And I don't think the camera picks it up all that well, but you can see there are four screw holes. And what this PC is going to utilize are the two screw holes. So there is this included bracket, which is meant for VESA mounting. And then we've got a couple of screws to use. Here are two pins for mounting onto the monitor. I think you need to do it like this. Gotcha. These two holes, just line it up. So we're doing good right here. We're doing a great job. All right, and then, and then another screw over here. We're gonna try to do I as actually best can't as we see can. what I'm doing. And then back of the PC, as you saw, so how are we going to attach this? So oh. these two brass ones goes onto the back and then it goes on here. Take some more. Yes. And then this mounts onto the back of the device and then locks in place hopefully. We got our PC connected! Woo! So it's all mounted back of the monitor so all you are really going to see is just the front of the monitor but before that let's connect the power. So. I've got this over here. Then I'm gonna connect onto the power. And then so, the other end goes onto the power port. Your... No, that's an audio port. So All it's right. gonna be on the bottom. The very bottom. Yeah. And then the HDMI. So the overall length is about two feet. It's not really long and it's perfect for connecting these two because they're gonna be very close. So one end goes to the bottom of the HDMI. 
then the other goes to the other HDMI. Yeah, one goes to the rear of the device and then the other one goes to the monitor. So you've got to make sure that your monitor supports HDMI and as long as it has a port, you can just connect it that way and basically that's it. And I've got to connect the peripherals for the PC too, so let me get that out. I do not know what peripherals are, but I can trust my dad that he's going to do a good job on this. For a simple setup like this, you can use something like this where it has a keyboard and a trackpad on one side. So you have a simple peripheral setup and it usually comes with some sort of dongle. I'll leave this one's link in the description. Open it up. It's one from Logitech and it's got the dongle stored on the back. So you just pull that out and then connect that USB onto the computer, which is up top here. What you're going to do is press that power and it is now on. So I got everything connected. I've got power over here and the monitor is cycling to turn on the PC that's connected. And we've got AMI, which means it is booting. Let's give it a moment. Where does part? Oh, it started. So it Ooh. seems like it comes with Windows 11 installed already. Yeah, and I, I need to lower the brightness of the monitor. So yeah. Six, that's us. You live in here right. or lowering what? the brightness so you guys could see. Yep, we're good. You can see it. Bam. So let's set it up. It is a small, tidy computer saying hi behind the monitor. Hey. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> so it is a good solution for perhaps living room PC or a kids small office PC room. or p kids room PC. I think that would be a perfect solution for that. It is not going to be a powerhouse, so you can't expect it to do heavy gaming or heavy graphics work, but it is perfect for living room PC or kids PC or your small office PC for you to check on emails, do some streaming. And it is a very compact setup where it just attaches behind the monitor or TV and such and it is all hidden and it is certainly upgradable as you saw down the road if you wish to add more storage you can certainly do so you can take out that storage and put it elsewhere if you would like to and you can certainly swap out the monitor or put this monitor on different pc so there's a lot of different configurability down the road and that's the route that i would take rather than having a laptop for the home because yes you can move that around whereas this one is not as mobile because it doesn't sit on the battery but you have a lot of option in this route down the road because you can upgrade storage and you can swap out parts and also the monitor and peripheral is not attached to the computer so you can manage that separately if you want better keyboard and a mouse you can certainly do that in this case, I have a keyboard and a trackpad set up just like the laptop would. But if I want something better in terms of keyboard or my key is broken, I don't have to swap out the entire laptop. I can buy a different keyboard and a mouse and I'll be set with it. So therefore, it is a lot more maintainable. So I intend to have this one being used by my kids. Really? I think so. I've never had my own computer before, monitor. Yeah, so someone's a little excited to hear that. So I just had to leave that until the very end. So yeah, this would be sort of a setup for you guys to play a game or have a homework. I think I'm going to keep them away from anywhere online because I don't want to expose that. But playing a game or doing some of the computer things, I think it is a necessary skill for kids. So. I do want something for them, but I don't want something that is very expensive for them either. And I do want to be able to swap out parts down the road. So I think this would be perfect fit for them. So that's how this video came by when Cam Rui decided to send this product for us. So I just wanted to disclose that. But yeah, this was a simple unboxing and setup video for the mini PC. Although you can't really see other than picking over the monitor and saying hi, so bye Camrui. His name is what? Mini? Yeah. Hey Mini, why don't you say bye? Bye. Oui. It, was, it was quite fun setting all of this up. What did you think? I'd say that I was happy building them, disassembling this with you. If you like this content, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching this type of video. And thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. What Perfect. about you? I might be in the next video, so please be watching out for me. Bye! Bye-bye!